Hey guys, welcome to Ben Wang and TV, and today we have Nathan Hartono. I'm not sure what's going on. <laughs> like I said, I don't know I, either. I, I was told to show up for an interview, and now there's like candlelight, there's noodles, there's chocolate milk. Let's see where this, let's see where this goes. Okay, so we have a few questions for you, but before I ask you the question, we have to finish our bowl of noodles. Okay. So the noodles um, get increasingly spicy with each level. How many levels again? Ten levels. Got it. The bandwagon team has called level ten death. So. So is this technically life? This is this is life. Yeah, we'll give you life. Cheers. Salute. There you go. Mm. Wait. Pause. Okay. So like, this is like a fancyish place. We've got like nice tablecloth, candles, and everything. Like, if nice you're gonna have sexy music as well. Why? Why the shitty wooden chopsticks? Like, there's. Was there no budget? This one isn't spicy. I think. Mm. It's nothing. Mm. It's nothing. It's gonna be easy. I'm still on my first bite and <laughs> just finish it. Level one question. Let's go. You can talk with your mouth. Well, it's not. It's not. A, it's not a fancy show. Clearly, we've got wooden chopsticks. I swear, I'm gonna get indigestion <laughs> from this. Okay. Well, the first question we're gonna start mm. with easy. How does it feel to be back in Singapore after seeing China? It feels great. Uh, the last three months have been. Very, very eye-opening, very educational, but they've also been very isolated. I've been very alone over there. Um, the language barrier is real. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I felt kind of disconnected from the world because, yeah. you know, the internet there is different. Also, I don't speak the language as fluently, so I can't communicate the, you know, deeper things. I can't, I can't communicate too much nuance or personality or humor. So. I, oh, half of me was constantly lost in translation. So, you know, other than the fact that Singapore is beautiful and the food's great and everything, and I can finally walk around again, I just, I just miss being able to, like, speak to people again. <laughs> Ordering stuff in China is, like, my biggest fear. Like, I'd have to stand, like, you know, somewhere in the back of the restaurant or the cafe or whatever, and, like... Just, like, point. No, sometimes... Because like, I want to try and make the effort, you know, so I'll go on my phone and, like, write down, like, the, thing, the words that I don't know how to read. And like translate them, and then like practice and them. How do you think? Exactly. Right? And then I'll practice them. I'll practice it for a bit, and I'll go to the waiter, and I'll order like whatever that is. Yeah. Okay. So you talk about like this, the disconnection yeah. and the isolation. How hard was it to assess like Twitter, Facebook? I mean, it's all VPN, right? So yeah. that's it's 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 easy enough. But the thing is, with 4G, mostly 3G, it's not very fast. And then VPN that halves the speed more. Mm -hmm. So it, it's usually, you know, YouTube, you can get, if you're lucky, you can get like a good 144p video going on. And Facebook, eh, not so much. Instagram, eh, not so much. So yeah, a lot so of you get the captions, but you don't get like, the photos. Yeah, you get the, you get the captions, <laughs> and you get like the blurry image yeah. of the circle trying yeah. to finish itself up. But yeah, um, yeah, a lot of disconnection, which was, you know, pleasant at first. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, after a month, two and a half, it was a bit like, eh. Hello there, what's your name? Um, Jonathan. Jonathan, our waiter. Oh, these are red. This is red, man. Look at that. These guys stepped it up between level one and two. All right. You guys have to stop giving me so much. Okay, ready? Are Salute. You... I'm gonna try to eat this really fast. Worst date ever. Nathan Hartono. That's it. This is, a, this is a great date. This is how most of my dates go. <laughs> I feel like color-wise, that was a step up, but taste-wise, it's uh, most about the same. Yeah, it's chill. Come on, let's go. Okay. Yeah. okay, the second question. How difficult was it going through rehearsals so far away from home? Mm, it was, the music side of things really didn't bother me. Like the music side of things, it was just like, it was, it was just another day at work, you know? Like the music side of things, rehearsals, learning songs, memorizing lyrics, but like, you know, uh, figuring out arrangements and stuff like that, that was all fine. It was, it was just extra fun that you're doing it with like a, a, a whole different league of people, you know? Yeah. You're working with Jay Cho, you're working with Jay Cho's producer, you're working with the new music team from the Sing China side, and it's, it's, it's really fun. Like the music side of things were really fun. It was really just back again to the first question, the communication side of things. Whenever I had to communicate with people, talk to people, convey ideas through words, um, it would be a rough time. And sometimes that kind of hinders the rehearsal process a little bit where like I don't exactly know how to say like oh I need more of this or like uh, maybe change that a little bit. It gets a little bit tough to describe uh, especially when there's no translators around. Is your mouth burning? Because no. mine is starting to. Uh -oh. and I'm, like, I'm getting a little worried. No. Uh -oh. I haven't had spicy food in a long time. I'm, 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 I, I, can, I can go on forever. Okay there's another color change. Darker. Why this is time. this so, so much? Guys you're gonna kill me! This is what level three? 
This is level three. Level three. It cool. looks the same as level two. Okay. Does it? Now they're getting actually like good. I'm getting full, that's what I'm getting. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> no, but they're getting good now. The first th two, not fantastic. This one's like, very tasty. I need this. We have chocolate milk. Um, you only have this much to last us. The all first one, the first one to touch the chocolate milk, that's like an admission of defeat right there. All right, <laughs> we'll see who, who That's an that, admission okay? of defeat, all right? We'll so. Okay, I'm not gonna lose this. All right. <laughs> I don't know actually. Third question. Yeah. Bring us through that special day at the Beijing National Stadium. Yeah. Describe how it was like the rehearsing backstage and reading about the Milo trucks in Singapore. <laughs> so that was a pretty crazy week just because we spent the entire week kind of like out in and out of um, the National Stadium because it's a live show, it's a live broadcast, so a lot more prep goes into it. Um, and it was kind of nuts as well because news was reaching Singapore that I reached the finals and I was going to be in the show and blah, blah, blah. Um, so there was a lot of extra attention, but the thing is, again, disconnected, internet not so great. Yeah. So I didn't quite know what was going on. But I got like, like you know, some WhatsApp texts every once in a while saying, hey, your face is all over over here, Milo is doing a thing. And I wasn't sure exactly what was going on, but it was cool to, you know, kind of see, get the idea that people back home were supporting me. Which made things feel a lot less lonely, which is nice. The week itself was actually very zen. Like most of most of it for me was just like memorizing lyrics, make sure the music is down, make sure you're blocking and everything is good. Because it's a live broadcast. If you screw yes. up this time, it's you know. I, 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 I kept getting a kick out of the fact that I was performing in a stadium in a different country. Because I've performed in Singapore and like bigger venues before, you know, Singapore Indoor Stadium, Star Vista, like the floating platform and everything. At some point, big crowds don't really phase performers because yeah. they're just I feel like the human mind probably can't even like fathom that many you know, bodies. You're just used to the huge crowd, but it's exactly. different exactly. it's in China. It's, yeah, it's very different yeah. because you're in China, you're in a different country. Like, something about that just gave me like a nice little kick, you know, and the fact that, you know, this is where the Olympics took place and like real achievements happened. Um, it was very cool to see. Um, it was a crazy week though, because there was a lot of press and a lot of attention in China surrounding the show. And it, None of us, like all the contestants, we were, we, were, we were basically locked down. We couldn't go anywhere. Because the moment we step out of the hotel, there's people like downstairs, like asking for photos and signing this and take photos here, blah, blah, blah. So it felt very like, straight. I don't know, like, and I've never had to go through that kind of thing before. Mm -hmm. Where I'd have to like try to disguise myself to leave the hotel. You, oh, yeah, I you had tried to. to disguise yourself? Oh, I out. had to, I had to. Because the thing is, like, There'll be a bunch of people, they'll crowd around, and then like we have some security people, they, they lead us past the lobby and yeah. to our rooms. Alright? And so then, then like a And then like drink. I'm in, and then I'm stuck in my room and I can't do anything, but I wanna go out, I wanna get like some groceries or something. Yeah. I just wanna like walk around for a bit. Um, so I'll the, what I do is I'll take off my contact lenses, put on like glasses. So that's like unrecognizable, put on a beanie, um, and then wear a mask. Got it. So glasses, so because sunglasses are a giveaway. Sunglasses means that you know you're someone you're special. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, you, but I just put on my glasses, wear a beanie, and um, put a mask on, and then just wear different clothes of what you wore when you came in. And people tend to not recognize you. The Milo trucks, like when you found out about it, I mean, you made that that comment in passing. Yes. You didn't expect it. Yes. To to actually come through. So yeah. when it did, what what was your reaction? I was kind of, it's kind of pleasing because it isn't the best kind of viral marketing like when it's truly viral, you know, mm -hmm. as opposed to like when you like make an effort to make it viral and try to force it into people's throats. This was truly like organic virality at its at its best because I just made a comment. I answered a question in a not so boring way mm -hmm. with Straits Times. They published it and even they didn't draw that much attention to it. It was just kind of like a passing comment. And I think a, a bunch of people on Twitter um, caught um, caught the article and they started making these like funny random pictures and I would retweet them because I thought they were funny and more people retweeted them and spit around and I think S Gag jumped on it as well and they made a meme of it and it just suddenly grew into a whole thing you know Facebook comments and Twitter and like a whole bunch of people were like circulating it around to the point that Milo saw it mm -hmm. that they replied once they replied you know then it just went nuts they actually did reach out but I was way too busy in China to right. reply to them so I just kind of let them do their own thing I didn't mind um, but yeah, my feeling towards it was that, yeah, eventually we did partner up and we did a meet and greet, but other than that, you know, they kind of just did their own thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm and I'm more than happy for that to happen because 
When I was back in primary school or secondary school, whenever I saw that Milo van, it would make my day like, better mm -hmm. instantly because it, was, it would bring people together and we like drink Milo and try to sneak up and get like the second cup. Mm -hmm. And it was always a nice time. Oof. All right. Yes, it's not so. Yes, guys. This looks more the or less the same. The quantity has, has decreased. This looks more or less the same, me, color maybe. wise. <laughs> oh, yeah, color wise, it looks the same. Yeah. Um, but I'm just glad because I don't have to eat so much now. Alrighty. Let's do it. Mmm. They're getting yummy, so that's good. Waiting for a challenge, guys. What's up? Mm hmm. Waiting for a challenge. Wait, this is number four. This is number four. All right, questions go. How many marriage proposals have you received? I don't think I've received any. I think there are probably like a bunch of marriage proposals waiting out there in Chinese. Like no, see the weird ones. So like the proposals, they're obviously a joke, you know, because you know why. No, why would you think they're a joke? I, I'm pretty sure there are girls out there who really want to marry you. I know, but like for the most part, I see this joke. Okay. But the ones that I kind of get like weirded out by, it's like when you meet people in person and they want to take a photo, and that's fantastic. I love like you know taking photos, talking for a bit. They then, touch you inappropriately. Well, that can be pleasurable sometimes. <laughs> but then, like, um, before before the the interaction's over, they'll be like, "Hey, can I add your your uh, your WeChat? You know, because they all use WeChat yeah. over there. Can can I add your we, uh, we, WeChat? Wait, or that's like, just basically asking you for your number. Right? Exactly. Or can I get your number? And it's kind of like, dude, no. Like we were having such a good time, and then you ruined you, it. Now I have to like awkwardly try to find a way to like dodge around this. Like, like just hold your phone. I don't have a phone. Phone? What phone? Yeah. See, I would almost do something <laughs> similar to that. I did something very similar to that. Where like whenever they asked for my WeChat, because they would ask for a WeChat before mm. they asked for um your phone number. Yeah. So they'd be like, oh, can you take my WeChat? Ma, and I'd be like, oh, 对不起，对不起，新加坡不用微信。I'll be like, oh, Singaporeans don't use okay, WeChat. That makes sense. I don't have the app. We don't use it there. It's and a really nice way of putting. The exactly. App in the I just hate that you know whenever. Whenever that comes up in conversation, it's like, uh, why? Like, have some. EQ. You made things difficult. Yeah, like have some EQ a little bit, you know. Like, I would never like ask someone that I idolize. Like, hey, can I? I would like their phone number. You would like. But I never you... ask for them for it. Just like, just like tell it back. Exactly. Like, definitely, number. definitely not on the first meeting. <laughs> not on the first meeting. All right. Let's round go. Five. Round five. I'm gonna okay, break one of these bowls. Five. I'm gonna break one of these bowls by the end of the taping. Well, it's not my bowls. Go ahead. <laughs> Halfway through. Thank you. This is the halfway mark. Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. so supposedly this it is where things. It looks the same. This is supposed. No, it looks redder. Supposedly this is where things ramp up, and things get a bit tough. So far, like it's nothing. You know, like it's fine. Let's do this. Okay. Cheers, it, man. Cheers, it. How are you gauging the spiciness? Is it just one sauce and you're adding more of it, or are there different brands? I think they're adding more of it, and as it goes up. They start adding like chili putty and sambal and I don't know mm. what else. Because mm. mm. the sauce tastes very consistent. Mm. Oh my, my mouth is so red. This is so romantic, guys. How is it like working with J Cho? Okay, I'm sorry, before that, is it J Cho or J Chow? Because I mean, I've been hearing so many different kinds of pronunciations for this and I don't know. Even I say it like two different ways. Yeah. I'm sure I have. Okay, so how is it? Like working with Zhou Jielun. Zhou Jielun. Yeah, that's that's the, the way that. Yeah, that's the way that they say it. Um, really amazing. Um, I understand why he is where he is. He's not um, like J Cho, J Chao, Zhou Jielun. He's not just famous because of a bunch of like big songs back in the early 2000s. You know, he is still where he is because he consistently puts out new shit. He consistently reinvents himself. He's always touring. He's always busy. Like he puts himself out there, you know. And he works really hard. He works really hard, and like above all that stuff, he still has the time to like actually pay attention to the contestants, mm -hmm. like legitimate attention, not just like oh, I'm contractually obliged to you guys, mm -hmm. and I will teach you, you know, a bunch of things, and I'm gonna go home and be rich. No, like he actually like. He actually cares about us, you know. He would research and do his own research and listen to our music online and everything. And yeah, it, it just made me see that how important like a drive and work ethic is, you know, more so than ever. And how you need to maintain that even if you're at that level, because you expect someone at his level to just kind of be like coasting it at this point, yeah. you know. Because a lot of people at his level are. A lot of the singers at his level, they're doing best of tours now. Mm -hmm. They're just doing like, oh, my greatest hits because I'm yeah. done. He's still putting out new albums. He's still doing new shit, and something about that um, really inspired me. Yeah. Okay, so you have a new single. You know, that was out like a couple of months ago. Electricity. Yeah. 
Did Jay Chu listen to it? Yeah. So like the first meeting we had, the first face to face we had, we were supposed to rehearse the song. It was supposed to be a very straightforward session. Just you know, him on the piano, I show up, and then we sing, 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 do this, do that, cool, bye. Mm -hmm. Instead of practicing, I didn't sing a note in that room. We, I came in, and immediately he was like, "Hey, what's up? It's you." He took out his phone, and then he pulled out Electricity, the music video, and he showed it to me, and I was like, "Oh, like this music video, I saw it you know, a few days ago. This mm -hmm. is really cool. Uh, this needs a bit of fixing, and this could be better, but this is really cool and everything." And he started telling me like what's good and what's like not so good about it, and that just blew my mind because that was exactly why I wanted him as a mentor. I want, actually puts in the exactly. Effort. I wanted his insight. I wanted his um, insight as a musician, as a composer, an arranger, a producer. Mm -hmm. Like he is, a, he has, he wears a lot of hats basically, and he does these things well. That's why having him, like you know, as your teacher, your mentor, whatever it is, um, it was invaluable because he actually, he actually cared, and he listened to this, he listened to my music beforehand, and I let him listen to a bunch of like unreleased songs as well, and got his take on them, and. He's excited for some of the stuff. Yeah. That's great. You're starting to perspire. Yeah. A little bit. The spice is like, is like creeping up. The, the, the spice I, is creeping I up. I think I might win this. But I'm maintaining my composure. This is a lot of noodles now. <laughs> That's a lot. This okay. is really, really red. This I have to do. This is really red. Okay. This is level six? Five? Six. Six. All right, man. Okay. Cheers. Oh, shit. Mm. You guys added something extra on this. It's sweet, I like it. Still not spicy, but okay. You hear that? She's spiting your your food. You gotta work harder! <laughs> Alright, okay. The next, the next question. The next one's just gonna be like a whole chili. <laughs> so like one chili putty, you dipped in sambal. Okay. Um, next question. Um, there was one uh, one song that you performed with um, a harmonica portion. Mm. Um, but we we heard that um, the harmonica actually got stolen. Like, you actually had a harmonica and it got stolen, which is why when you went on stage, you know, it's well, it wasn't stolen. So here's what happened. As I said, the week of the the show, we went to the Bird's Nest every day to rehearse. Mm -hmm. You know, that's creeping up. Um, and every time we rehearsed, there were no dancers mm -hmm. and there were no props because it kept raining that week. So we rehearsed with like you know just me and Jay our stage with all the instruments and everything. So what was supposed to happen for that song, Suan Jie Kun, was harmonica intro, you play guitar, and then uh, sing a bit, and then in the middle of the song is a harmonica break. Right. It's a harmonica solo, and then the song continues. Yeah. So after I do my harmonica, so my, my harmonica intro, on the day itself, suddenly there was a table Mm -hmm. in front of me. You can see it on the YouTube video, the performance itself. There's a table in front of me and there's a whole bunch of dancers that were not there during rehearsal. So I do the thing, play the harmonica, play, 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 put it on the table because it was a pretty big table. It was like four times the size of this table. I was like, there's no way this is going anywhere. Yeah. So I place the harmonica on the table, continue playing the guitar. As I play the guitar, dancers take the table away. They just started taking it away. They took it away no, and it harmonica. went further and further and further and further and just left it. They left the stage. And um, it broke my heart because I practiced that for like hours and hours and hours because I, I don't know how to play that harmonica. Right. I learned it that week. Um, and see, I don't think it's that spicy. I think it's because I'm. I think it's because I'm talking more than you. <laughs> my saliva is like working all the spices up. If you if you were talking more, like you'd be feeling this too. Okay. Um, but yeah, um, it was just hours of practice gone down the drain, and it broke my heart. Do you think it was intentional sabotage? Oh, no, 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 no. It was, like... it was not intentional sabotage. It's just that no one... It, it was one of those things where like, it was nobody's fault. Okay. It was just that we never rehearsed with the props. I didn't know what was going on with the props. I didn't ask. I should have asked. And it just kind of... It was, I was just kind of shell-shocked. I was like, what's going on? What's going on? So I didn't bother to ask where anything was going. I just assumed that this table was going to stay there. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Learn your lesson. That's it. Learn my lesson. Okay. Oh, fuck. Ah. <laughs> okay, that looks bad. <laughs> have you been eating the noodles as well? I think you have been, right? <laughs> can, you guys, can you guys see this? That looks... Can you guys edit some really weird stuff in there. That looks glorious. It smells really good, though. I like it. I really like spicy food, so... Ah, oh, this is gonna be rough. 
All right, then, Ready? let's go. I'm not looking forward to this question. Talk more. <sighs> oh, my God. Question seven. Were there a lot of people coming up to you at the airport in Beijing on your way back to Singapore? In Beijing, not so much. In Shanghai, yes. Probably because of timing. In Beijing, I went much earlier in the morning. And... Oh. <laughs> it's all downhill from here, boys. I'm still gonna drink it. No, no. <laughs> I think I'm starting to perspire as well. Okay, so Shanghai, um, people would stop me, and again, I really don't mind taking photos in public. Uh -huh. I enjoy the interaction, stopping, you know, it's only a minute out of my day. Mm -hmm. And it's a nice memory to make. Um, but I don't really like it when people take photos of me, you know, when they're like, you know, they just do this. Yeah. Or like from far away, they'll zoom in and take a picture. And sometimes, you know, the rare occasion, they'll ask you, hey, can I take a picture of you? Then it's very awkward. Like, do I just stand here? Like, do I do this? Or what happens? I'll so not yeah. take a picture with you, but can I take yeah, a picture of you? you? Exactly. That's weird, yeah. Uh, I think I'm crying. I feel a tear rolling down my cheek. <laughs> I feel it too. Yeah, but, uh... <laughs> yeah, so Shanghai... No, of course I want to speak. So Shanghai... was like that. Uh, the... The most annoying part, I guess, was when I had to repack my luggage. I had, um... At the airport? Yeah, I was three kilos overweight. I had to repack my luggage at the counter. It was very awkward, you know, unpack it, squat down on the floor, take out my stuff. And people just started taking pictures of me, like, on the floor, unpacking my luggage. And they were, like, saying, oh, it's in Xiang Yao, it's Xiang Yao from the show. And uh, a few minutes later, I see it like on social media, like me on the floor and packing my luggage. I was like, that's not very cool, guys. But that's just kind of how things are going to be, I guess. Okay, good. Right. Ready for the next round? Let's, no, let's go. Let's do it! <sighs> so why are you getting so emotional? <laughs> it's just our first date. There's no need to cry. Oh, shit. <laughs> I have not had spicy food in a while, man. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> yeah, you look like you're dying, too. Ready? Let's do this! Wait, hold on. <laughs> like, this is, this is all of the amount of tissue. We have like two pieces of tissue left. And uh... Okay. Woo, three more questions! Let's go! Let's do it! Oh, I might start crying after this one. Ooh, shower. Mm. You guys are nasty. All right, this one is pretty, it's not hitting yet, but I feel like it's gonna it will. sneak, yeah, I feel like it it's will. gonna sneak up on you yeah. mm. as you keep talking. Okay. Mm. Like right now. So, you've been performing in Singapore after coming back, yeah. for like escape invasion. Yeah. So, how was that like? Did the students react differently to you than before? How's your fan base like in Singapore now? There's definitely a lot more eyes and ears. People care mm -hmm. a lot more now, which is nice. Um, I've been doing this for a long time, you know. So I'm used to the public attention. Just that now, it's 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 kind of at its it's kind of like at a nice mm -hmm. peak, you know. Um, but the way I see it, it's kind of just like a wave, you know. The, the 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 news cycle, the media attention, you know, that's all temporary. You ride the wave, you get off, let someone else get back on. Mm -hmm. And it's a uh, it's nice. It's nice to um, uh, see people. Uh, Respond so positively. You can't even get it's a nice to see. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see people respond so positively. Um, and my phone's been blowing up, of course. But there's definitely like a bittersweetness to it. Mm. Like parts of me are like, where were y'all like you know a year ago? <laughs> when I was putting out new stuff. Yeah. I was doing a concert. I did a concert earlier this year. I really... With Esplanade, was it? Yeah. Yeah. I had really hoped that it would sold out, that it would have sold out. We didn't sell out. We still broke it. Uh, we made a bit of a profit, but we didn't sell out. I'm sure if we did it now, we'd sell out. Thank you. But we, it didn't sell out at the time. So, you know, where y'all at? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? 
Can I get more, please? Thank you. Let's go. Okay. Are you ready for the next one? Are we Let's at go. nine? Are we yeah. at nine? Number nine. Okay. That's it. All right. The, the bandwagon team died at level eight, which is what we just had. We're going one step further. We're going to level nine. All right. Thank you. It's a lot of noodles. Are you ready? Hold on. <laughs> I've been drinking a lot of water. I'm very full. Let's do it. Let's get this shit over with. Just two more questions. I want to go home and cry. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is a lot of noodles. Can I not finish it? No, I'm I'll have I can't one finish this either. There, I'll eat that much. That's enough for you guys, right? Don't no haters in the comments. All right, what's the next version? What's next? What's next for you this year? Okay. So, I have immediate plans to finish up music. Mm -hmm. I've recorded a lot of new music that has not been mixed because mm -hmm. I've been in China. So it's gonna come out. So it needs some of my TLC. Gotta spend, we do. Some, gotta spend some time in the studio with those songs and finish them up so that they can be ready and packaged for all of y'all. Um, so right now that's the priority number one, finish up the music. Mm -hmm. Then priority number two, sort out some kind of um, management system. Because right. I have not been managed by anybody since 2009. So mm -hmm. yeah, uh, uh, now it's like the search for the new team and like figure out like, you know, management and mm -hmm. all that stuff so we can start doing cool shit and cool things. Yeah. Do you, do you foresee yourself in China a lot next uh, year? I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know because... Um, uh, don't cry, it's okay. I haven't started... I'm still feeling the effects of the last one. This one honestly didn't really do much for me. The last bowl kicked my ass. You, you stopped tearing up, so yeah. that's a good sign. Yeah, so um, I haven't started many conversations of China aside yet. Um, there's definitely some label talk there to happen in the future. Uh, but I'm unsure. Uh, but I do know that my EP is now going to have Chinese songs in them. Oh, because, yeah, wow. Yeah, because I think it'd be a waste and it'd be kind of, you know... Uh, I think at this point it's expected, you mm -hmm. know? But I also have always been curious about like the whole world of Chinese music. So I want to... I'll, I'll probably take the helm of composition and arranging. But I can't, I can't be a lyricist. I can't write Chinese lyrics. Um, English lyrics, no problem. Chinese lyrics, I cannot even imagine how to start. Okay. Yeah. So are you are you ready? Is, yeah. is this death? Is this the death? This is death. This is death. Level ten is death. Okay. Okay. I feel like I feel like my mouth is nice and numb. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's bring on. Prop to us nine bolts. Bring on the death. What is this? Oh, damn. <laughs> bring on the death. See, this is not noodles. This <laughs> this has stopped being noodles. Can you guys look at that? That is a bowl of powder. That is not noodles. How, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a. This is you're a choking not, hazard. You're not even speaking properly right now. It's like, uh, this is a choking <laughs> hazard. I'm gonna like you know when you when you eat those like truffle, those chocolate truffles with the chocolate dust on it, and you breathe in and it clogs up your throat. You know, like the cinnamon challenge. Or that. The cinnamon powder challenge. Exactly. That's it. This is it. We're gonna choke on this. Okay. Ready? No. I'm gonna call you tonight, but like, maybe I can't do this. Look at that! What is that? <laughs> How did you guys use a whole bottle of powder for this? They did. You know what? Just 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 so you know, people in the comments know that this this stuff is real. I'm gonna like do a nice little once through, and like, yeah, Look just that. get all that powder, get all that sweet sweet chili, whatever the hell that is, mm -hmm. in every nook and cranny. There we go. You wow, can't you, you can't just, you can't say that's bullshit, man. You're really just digging your drink right here. You can't say that's bullshit, but this is some bullshit. Oh my god. This is not good. <laughs> Alright. Last question. And the last question. What would you like to say to your earliest stalkers? Early stalkers? Um, I love you guys. We love you. And um, I'm sorry if I fall out of your favor. <sighs> so emotional talking about you guys. <sighs> okay. <laughs> do it. No. I think you should. Just do it. I'll, I'll right. go. I'll go if you go. <laughs> the truth. <laughs> Get it. Oh, that didn't Jesus really. Christ. I'm not sure if that helped. <coughs> ah. 
Is it? No, no. Sweet mother of God. That was good. That saved my life. Thank you. Oh, did that help me? <laughs> that might have made things worse for me. I don't know why. Okay. Uh. Um. Did I answer the question yet? No. Like what you said. I love you and like. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry if I. Uh... Is your guys great? Stalkers come and go. No. Really? It's all in phases. I truly value them because even though sometimes your methods are creepy, <laughs> you care. I love you for that. It's not stopping. I'm starting to see spots. Is this normal? <laughs> oh. We're done. We're We've done. been through We're 10 done. levels of spiciness. We've been through 10 bowls of ramen. Um, I Good job. You cried a little. Um, can't really speak right now, but this has been one of the most memorable dates I've ever been on, Nathan. Thank you. I hate the show. <laughs> this is my PSA to the people. Don't do the show. And um, follow me on on uh, on Zanga. Zanga. Who series is that? I have a blog. Good I luck. almost spit milk out. Good luck finding it. <laughs> Sexy, hot time, super show. Super hot. Super Interview hot. Interview time. Interview time. Yes. High five. We did it. Thank you. Um, That's not cold. That's not going to help. <laughs>